Hello everyone, it's Lori Mommet. Um, I am a book hoarder. There's a little joke that says if it's a book it's not hoarding, but really that's not true. <laughs> you are a hoarder. Um, I've been buying books forever, I mean since I was little. Uh, the greatest thing happened for me when I got my job after college is I became a media specialist in an elementary school, which meant not only did I take care of computers and equipment, I got to be in charge of the library, meaning I got to review and purchase books. So basically, part of my job was being paid to read books, uh, evaluate books, and purchase books. I mean, for a book hoarder, I don't know how much more of a dream job you could get. But Dollar Tree has some amazing books for a dollar, and I went there the other day to two different Dollar Trees, and for the first time, I've seen a huge haul of books at both stores. Um, both stores got new... Oh, at least probably 30 to 40 books that I hadn't seen before and I've never actually seen when you first walk in that they have the books displayed at any of my Dollar Trees. So let me show you some of the ones I got. This is a Disney book and it is the Starlight. It says on the bottom here, oops I don't know if you can see it, A Wishlist Guide to Starlight. Starland, sorry, Starland. Okay, it's a little dark here. I'm outside by the lake. Really, really nice hardback book. Really colorful with really pretty illustrations. It's really nice. I found a couple of paperbacks of the Star Darlings. This one says Tessa's Lost and Found. I believe I found about four of them. This one's paperback though. Still really nice. I found two of um, How to Draw Manga. Manga is really, really popular now, and my kids love drawing books, so this will be one that they will be checked out all the time. They're really good about taking care of them. Sorry, I was trying to say they're really good about taking care of the drawing books. We also put a hard plastic cover on it so it lasts longer. This one is the Everlife Academy, or Afterlife Academy. Again, a nice hardcover book. This is a series, Ever After High, Ever After High, Next Top Villain. This is book one, so I was able to find book one. Anytime I'm able to find, uh, you know, one, two, three in a series is absolutely amazing, especially for a dollar. This is book two, Kiss and Spell. And then this one, I don't see a number on it. It must be, let's see what it says. Oh, it's a do-over diary of the first one. But they are all the same series, Ever After High. Girls love these Tegan books. So this is for my middle school. Right now I'm in a high school middle school. So they're gonna love those. Like I said, a perfect book for a dollar. It's amazing, hardback. Really cool illustrations, nice bright colors. Kids do judge a book by its cover, even though I spend my whole day trying to tell them not to do that. This is an NFL book, and it has all the uh, different sports inside. And this is a really thin book, but you know, I'm, I have my library extended hours. I'm open every day after library, after school. So the kids can come in and they can get a short book like this and they could take it for one night and bring it back the next day. So it's not like when they check a book out from me, they're stuck with it for the whole time until their class comes back. Um, they can come every day if they want. So I have a lot of these thinner books. Um, you know, it doesn't take them long to read, but it's perfectly fine because anything they're reading is good for me and I like that they come back and get something new every day. And the last two books I found were for me. I found both of Holly Madison's books, uh, Down the Rabbit Hole, and I believe the other one's called Vegas Diaries, uh, for a dollar, which is pretty amazing. The inside cover says um, $24.99, and even if, let's say, you got it at a Walmart or Target or something, you could probably get it for you know less, but for a dollar, it's absolutely amazing. Um, what's funny about this is I read this one almost already, uh, she's, it's pretty interesting because if you remember, she's from the Girls Next Door, the Hugh Hefner um, series. So, she, you know, she wrote this book to say, to claim she's going to tell her own story. Well, she's not very nice if she's telling her own story. Um, to me, it was just about making money. I don't know. I really, I was a fan of hers. And I'm not so sure about now that I've read the book. 
And then I'm reading her other one about the Vegas Diaries too. So, you know, just kind of a little fun reading uh, for an adult. Um, I'm not sure if I could say I could recommend it. Uh, if you were a fan of hers or a fan of the shows or you wanted to hear her side of the story because, you know, a lot has been in the media, um, I would get it for a dollar. I can't recommend that I would pay any more for that. In this case, I would go to the library and check them out. I'm reading her second one, which I found also at a different store. I found one of these at one store and then another at another store. So that was my dollar haul. I got a couple other paperback books we already put in the library because as soon as I got them, I wanted the kids to be able to check them out. Um, but it is a really good place. A lot of times the books are kind of like a mess or stacked up or, I don't know, sometimes you have a hard time finding something. But if you look, you can find stuff. The other thing is they had lots and lots of, um, well, it's getting really dark out here. They found lots and lots of cookbooks. Now, I'm not a cookbook, and even though you can find just about any cookbook in the, um, on the Internet, sometimes people just really, really like having a book. I find we have an online reading for our students, and a lot of them come in and tell me they really like having the book in their hand. So it's, everyone learns different. Everyone has some different way of reading. For those people who really want a book, you cannot beat going to the dollar store and finding something for a dollar. Or go to the library. It's always free. I use my library all the time. Perfect timing. A train is coming. You won't be able to hear me. So thanks for watching. If you're a Dollar Tree fan of their books, please give this a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Have a great night. Take care.